Alright, so yes, Carlisle. Carlisle was a former leader of Jahana's army. He lost himself for love of his queen. Which... I... Even I don't understand it. I mean, I usually understand, you know, these romantic tropes and all that stuff, but... I don't see it. Anyway, his class is a Swordmaster. My most absolute favourite class in the game. They are Lightning Fire Swords into Peerless and Lethal Skill. But, because they are my favourite, they are one of the most, mo most, they are one of the most deadly ones too. And the item, his, his stats are pretty legit. He's even in his defenses. He's got pretty good speed and skill and the strength to back it up. And he's got a lot of HP. And and he's on a bloody throne, which gives him extra defense and avoid. And it doesn't help that he has a bloody wind sword now. For those who don't know, the Wind Sword is pretty much a, a sword that has uh, magic infused within it. That's why it has a range, the RNG, that's not random number generator, that means range. A range of 1 to 2 spaces, which is why when I use Natasha, uh, he can actually retaliate. However, there's, a, there's this thing with the Wind Sword. When the Wind Sword is attacked from a distance, it's used as a magic uh, item. And because, as we know, Natasha has a boatload of resistance, so, you know, she can counter that. If we use it directly, it becomes a physical weapon. So, yeah. You've got to be careful with that. Um, I should also mention, the Wind Sword from a distance does not have the ability to crit. However, from close up, it does. Another thing I should mention about the Wind Sword is that it actually, uh... It's pretty much a a wind tome from uh, in other in other Fire Emblem games. A wind tome in other Fire Emblem games is super effective against any flyer. So that's why uh, Nata uh, not Natasha Vanessa actually takes bonus damage from Carla. So that's something we don't want to do. Anyway, let's actually start with Natasha because really there's nothing wrong with this. I I just wanted the two of us. Yeah, he's a psychopathic jerk. And yeah, this is basically what the freaking windsword looks like. Pretty badass, right? Now, Josh, what can you do? Shamshire. Okay. Okay, okay, um... Yep, that's it. Everyone's done. And because he's on a freaking throne, he's healing himself. Like a dumb dumb. Ba, ba, ba. One of my another one of my favorite tunes of this game is the the uh, boss theme. Uh, this is a different boss theme than the earlier ones. The earlier boss themes were just kind of like early boss themes, but these are late game slash mid game boss themes, which means it's pretty epic because these guys are difficult and tough to beat. So yeah. Anyway, I'm sure maybe. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I'm hoping she gets a crit. Damn it. <laughs> She's gonna miss, though. Oh no! Ouch. <laughs> Ow. It hurts so much. Um. Really? There's no reinforcements? Usually there's shaman reinforcements over there. Where are they at? They should be out. They should be out soon. Come on now. Maybe I have to cross a certain point. Oh, and good, he's fully healed. This is a battle of the ages, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Alright, screw it. Enough dilly-dallying. Oh, there they are. Took their sweet-ass time. Oko! Oko! Thank you, Korm. Oh, come on, man. The level-ups. Not the level-ups. The level-ups. Actually, yes, the level-ups. Where the level-ups at? <sighs> but at least this guy can't do anything. Bonk. Ah! <laughs> oh, a critical hit from you in the first time we get to see a shaman crit, I believe. And down he goes. And down he goes. You're nearly level 17, like the rest of my units. That's great. All right, I think there's more of them. All right, so before I actually go into more in-depth things, let's talk about this secret. So in order to get this secret 
First of all, you need to get a unit to this space and they have to have the member card in their inventory. If they do not, they cannot enter it. What is the secret, you ask? Well, it's the bloody secret shop. That's what it is. So here we are, this is the secret shop. Basically, you can get a bunch of goods from this place. Um, I think you can get as much as you want, from what I remember. Uh, but I think I'm going to get only a few things. Um, I don't want to buy any of the promotional items, because they cost a boatload of cash, for one thing. But I think th there are other secret shops that I sell these things as well, so you don't need to worry about that. Um, but as for other items... Maybe just the killer weapons will do. And the physics staff. Killer weapons and physics, so... Right. So, killing edge... Killer lance... Killer axe... Killer bow... And then the, and then the physic. Now, another thing before I leave the shop. Notice the little uh, shopkeeper we have here. A very reoccurring secret shop. Uh, fun fact, she's been every secret shop uh, Claire, uh, counter person in the entire Fire Emblem series. Her name is Anna, uh, and uh, basically, like I said, she's pretty much the Nurse Joy Officer Jenny trope from Pokemon, where every secret shop there's an Anna, and they're all miraculously related to each other. Which is actually explained in Fire Emblem Awakening, and it's why, you know, Probably my favorite chick in that game, anyway. But that game aside, we're not playing Fire Emblem, and we're playing uh, we're playing Fire Emblem Sacred Stones. And I think I've shown off everything of this chapter. So there's one more thing I want to expose. You, could it be, Carlisle? How did this happen? You taught me how to wield a blade. You of all people, you've returned, but but now it's too late. It's far too late. But what was that about? Interesting conversation, and both of them are just yeah, yeah. This is this is this is gonna be an epic fight. I'm excited, so I'm gonna Natasha step back. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Let's do this. Oh, I'm so excited. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Here we go. <sighs> yeah. Woo. Josh, we're getting the crits in on Carlisle. Early crit too. Um, so I'm actually really, really glad that uh, Natasha is here. The fact that they have an A rank in supports made this battle a shitload more easier. Because if Natasha wasn't here, Joshua would be in chance of getting critical, but he doesn't get. Uh, he won't be getting crit this game. Uh, another thing: Sword Masters actually have a passive skill, which is increasing the critical hit rate by 15. So they, they get a base 15 crit rate, so that's why his crit's at 24, and Sword Masters can be dangerous if, you know, your characters don't have supports or a lot of luck to counter it, so... That's why uh, I'm in a good position right now. I don't want to wield that, that's going to kill me. Um... Why are they so heavy? Fine. Shamsher again. Please. Ah, oh, damn it. Ow. Yeah, and uh, this guy hurts. <laughs> How much damage can you do to him, by the way? Ugh, you can crit him. That's the scary thing. If Natasha gets a critical hit, I can't do anything with Joshua for the next chapter, and I want to do something for him for the next chapter. Oh well, what are you gonna do? Take, drop, and wait. As for you boys... Oh, you can't kill him. Can you kill him though? Yeah, you can. <laughs> You're mine. <laughs> level up for Cormac. He's now level 17, just like the rest of the army. And he's still not getting speed, which is actually very concerning. Well, at least Ewan is doing his job well. At least one of them's doing great. Cormag, his only thing the only thing he's got going for him is his freaking strength. But that's gonna be the death of him, because if he doesn't have enough speed, 
he's going to be in a lot of trouble in the next chapter. Because I know what's happening in the next chapter. Alright, back to this again. Come on. Come on, Josh. I gave you that weapon for a reason. Oh, in the hit. Oh, he's missed again. Ugh. Damn it. <laughs> oh, it's turning battles. It's, 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 someone animate this. Joshua got the early blow on Carlisle, but Carlisle's like, you think that's gonna beat your master? Oh, so epic. <laughs> Alright. That's all I can do. This is, all, this is all it is right now. It's just gonna be a fight to the death between two great swordmen. Come on. Joshua, you, the more you attack him, the more experience you're wasting here, boy. Just kill the boy! Oh, you got the hit in. That's my chance. That's my big, big chance right now. I think one of you... Alright. Alright, I'm gonna do something here. Uh, iron sword for the steel sword and... Wait. There. Kill him, please! Yes! Got him! There we go. Queen Ismer, I'm... Dead. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Joshua is now a level 20 Myrmidon. Isn't that, isn't that great? That is just fan-freaking-tastic. He's made it to level 20, and I'm glad he did, because I want him to be at this level for another thing that's going to be coming up soon. I like, I like having this very story-driven based thing, though, so that's why I like it. Um, and that's everything, really. Yeah, got nothing else to worry about. Alright, now we're just gonna have Joshua do something else to me. And if you'll think what I'm thinking, you are correct, sons. We are going to promote Joshua right here, right now. Now, Myrmidons, they have two things that they can promote to. They can either become one, an assassin, or they can become a swordmaster. Both of these are my top one and two favorite classes in Fire Emblem, which is why Myrmidons are my favorite class, or my favorite primary class. Um, but here are, here's what each of them do. Assassins are a master of killing arts, they equip swords only and have the skill Silencer. Basically what that skill does is that uh, with, the with the critical hit rates that assassins get, half of the critical hits will actually become one hit kills. So that's why that, you know, assassins can actually uh, one hit kill enemies. When assassins one hit kill enemies as well, they actually get a lot more experience than usual. So. Is that right? If they use a silence, they get a lot more experience, or they get less? Oh, either one. The experience changes when they use that skill. Secondly, we have Sword Master. Sword Masters, we already know, basically, their main thing is that they just get 15 base crit. And what better way to have, you know, Joshua become than a Sword Master, right? I mean, we just murdered Carlisle, who apparently has some relation to Joshua. He's the one who taught him how to blade, so he's now taught him how to wield a sword. As a sword master. Yeah, look at this Joshua, it looks great. A great swords master. And I think after that, we're pretty much done. So in the next part, we're going to seize this throne. So hold up a second. <laughs>